Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our podcast. Today we're looking at one of the long line of Disney live action remakes, Aladdin! Aladdin. Based on the beloved animated movie, A Kind-Hearted Street Urchin, <laughs> and a Bar Hungry Grand Vizier, V, or Vi, V, Vi, <laughs> Vi, what does that even mean, Vi? Vi for a magic lamp that has the Vi. power to make their deepest wishes come true. Yeah, what does that even mean, Vi? You mean fight? <laughs> Just stop sounding like it's some grand thing. It's the Latin. V. It's V. <laughs> now, for here, didn't know what to expect from this movie because, you know, Disney wants to re live action, make live action remakes out of everything ever since Alice in Wonderland did so well, despite its actual the actual quality of the movie, but we were surprised that Aladdin actually was very good and entertaining. Now, the, with the ending, we will say it's pretty much not going to be a direct sequel. If there is a sequel at any point, mm -hmm. there will be no sequel based off of Return of Jafar or King of Thieves. I think it's mostly going to be... I think it's going to be based on the genie. Yes. The backstory. Yes, because they did say something about doing a, a prequel movie with the world of the genies and how he became Aladdin's genie. I end up in the lamp and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, if we ever hear with the ending, there's no direct sequel that shows what happened after... Uh, you know, like with the ending of the uh, animated movie, they really changed some things around in here. But it actually wasn't as weird or nonsensical as some other movies tend to do. Like now, uh, you know, as Will Smith's playing the genie, the genie was... Uh, wants to be human rather than just be free from the lamp. He wants to be human so he can live as a regular person. Uh, Jafar... I, I, uh, before you even continue... Will Smith was superb. I had no problems with the blue and the digitally making him look muscled. It worked fine for me. Yeah. And it was such a small part of the film that it didn't even matter. Right. And I think it was supposed to reflect... I think it was supposed to just take off from the animated movie mm -hmm. since, you know, it's live action. But they didn't just slack off and just have him be human the whole movie well he was for pretty much that but they uh, for the little fun things and sequences they were trying to reflect off the original movie you know he's not ever going to be robin williams they can't replicate that but they did a good job of having all the fun goofy moments and just being in the same fun vein as the original movie i don't think there should even be a comparison robin williams did the performance the way he did, and we loved it, that's it. And then Will Smith does it his way, and we love it, and right. that's it. Whenever we start comparing people or trying to pit one against the other, it never works out. They're two different actors. They had two different performances, two different methods. Um, they're not even comparable. You right. can't even compare them. Right, because it there's is. There's Robin Williams' version, and there's Will Smith's version. And for me, that's all there is. And I'm sorry for those of you who may disagree and think that Will should have maybe in some form tried to imitate him, but you can't imitate Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. That's it. Will was smart enough to know I got to do this my way and make it work, right. and he did. It was it was fabulous. Right. It was fun, and I found myself singing that song and bopping around. Right. And I really really enjoyed watching this movie. Right. It wasn't trying to just copy and paste everything the animated movie did or shot for shot remake like like uh, some of their other movies, and it didn't try to make it so vastly different, mm -hmm. or one of the people didn't take charge and make the movie all about them and change everything to right. where it's not even reminiscent of the original movie. They did have their own little twist on it, but it wasn't so far where you can't recognize it being Aladdin, and they didn't just copy-paste everything where you could just watch the animated one and get a better result. Right. They did a great job. They did a great job at uh, adapting this into live action. Absolutely. There were just a few more songs that weren't in the original, which they added, I guess, for to, to pad out the runtime. And there was only one sequence in the whole movie that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And it was like an arc that we didn't even know existed. And that's really it. Right. And there was also a change in Jafar. He wasn't as maniacal and stuff as he was in the original in terms of, you know, being... But he was just evil. He yeah. was a pretty bad villain in here, yes. though. Yes, I guess yeah. you could take him more seriously because the original classic animated villains had the niche of just recognizable. They reveled in being evil and stuff. And here, he was more of like a secret betrayer and stuff. And they had him more grounded. And he felt he was more deserving than what, than what he was getting. 
and he wanted more, and he didn't care how he had to, to get it. Right, and he and, was more of uh, they even had his backstory too. And I have to say, the two characters that were the lead love interest, I guess you say, um, Aladdin and the princess. I really liked how they were, they portrayed the roles. I didn't think I was going to, but I really, really did like how they both interpreted the characters uh-huh. and how they were presented on screen. I really, I really, I really liked this movie. Yeah, like I said, it was just really fun. Mm-hmm. And you, there's not really a lot of spoilers in here, except for when they add the new bits. Like I said, Gene wants to be human instead of just being free. He wants a family. It's more hu- He's more humanized in here mm-hmm. instead of having things lead off into two more sequels. Um, they've added a few, one or two additional characters in here. They added a character that didn't even know how an arc in here, and we didn't even know it until like near the end of the film. And they were still having fun with it. And aside from a few minor flaws, they they, right? A few they minor bite. flaws in terms of you know how the story progressed, things started happening a little faster. Like you know they found out uh, Prince Ali was Aladdin, and like instantaneously there was no build up to it. Like oh, he said, I'm like man, I well, thought it, it wasn't difficult to see he had the same face, right? And he had they, the same face and, and just different clothes, right? So, you know, you would know, hey, this is Prince Ali. Right. So I did like that part because if it was like the Superman saga, it would have been like, you know, right. no. And then he even, he even said, how's that going to work? So the genie magic where it's like, okay, you'll still see yourself as you, will still see you as someone else. But then he said, well, how can he recognize me? He said, well, it doesn't work all the time. And, and it's like, which is it? it out. Jafar figured it out. Yeah, and that was the thing, like, which is it? Can people figure it out or not figure it out? Did, I guess they changed their minds now, like, oh, well, some people can figure it out. So the genie magic magic didn't even work as well as they said the first or part of the movie. it was easy for him to figure it out because he was a magician and he was already using tricks and hypnotizing people and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, that could so be maybe it. maybe it was easier for him because he was already underhanded and doing the same thing. Right. Yeah, yeah that, could, that could be it too. And they still had the animals in there, but they didn't have Gilbert Gottfried as Iago. They just yeah. had like a regular pair. They had Alan Tudyk actually this time. Mm-hmm. And Frank Welker, of course, returned as well. They had the magic carpet still. They had Abu, who was pretty much like a CGI yeah. realistic monkey now. Yes, Ludo was the parrot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, pretty pretty much it does, like we said, contain the story very well. Minor changes actually weren't bad. They stuck to the source material with the changes, and it still made for an enjoyable movie. And I love there was a happy ending. I love right. movies. They have a happy ending. I know it's not supposed to happen all the time. I understand that. But I really like there was a happy ending and there was an unexpected ending in this movie. Right. And then the ending ends up lining up with other part, another part of the movie, which we won't give it away if you haven't seen mm-hmm. it. But it was great. This is one, I can say one time Disney really did a reboot right. Right. And I know that we've read that they're rebooting their entire catalog of everything that they own. So hopefully more of them will be like this movie Mm -hmm. and will be happy to see the reboots. Right. So if you have seen the Aladdin remake, please let you know what we thought of of the movie below. Did you like this just as much as the original? Or do you let us know what you think of Will Smith's performance as the genie? Right. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next podcast. I'm Asco Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment, and I'd like to add one more thing. If you think there was adequate representation of everyone in this movie, let us know as well. Yes. Uh, once again, I am Asco Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. You'll never have a friend like me. And the water sitting, flashing lights. Trying to walk around, man, who the hell are you? What you want to do? My man, it's on you. Man, it's on you. And in my dreams. She was my queen. Castle in the mountaintops, rivers and streams Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket Give it to you